Well, well, you'd seem that we're getting quite a lot of fan service right now. We get to see the ladies in bikinis. Do you think I can make an exception? Pretty please? Um, well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems if there are some boys. Then... You're right. They came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this song is just so kind! Alright! All right. Now that it is decided. Well, let's get going! But Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! There's no way I can just stand around! I'll go on ahead and prepare! I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks! Engines revving! I mean it! I promise I'll give it my all to serve you so everyone has fun! Well, with an abnormal amount of gusto, he bought it out of the diner. Um... What's up, Chiaki? I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is... A little awkward. <laughs> Just try your best not to awake the demon inside you, Hajime. If you do that, then it's all gonna be bad news. I know for a fact. I, I should have go, Kaz go help Kazuichi too. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner, almost as if I were escaping. One man cannot handle so much bikini. That's for sure. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, I guess we shall go and help Kazuichi with uh, with the preparations and all that. I guess we're supposed to go to the ch to I guess we're supposed to go to Chandler Beach. I guess so. <clears throat> Let's see. Kazuichi, where are you? Uh announcement. Oh god. Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! Oh my god! Right now? You gotta be kidding me! No! Wait, who died? Now what? Then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Oh no. What the fuck? A body? That's a lie. Impossible! Uh... Uh... Kazuichi... Hajime Chiaki, Sonia, Akane... Peko... Peko, Akane... Mikan... We haven't seen uh, Neko or Gundam. Where is Fuhiko? Where, where is Nakito still tied up in the dining hall? Someone, someone, come here! Oh God! Uh, that was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It sounds like he's nearby. Kazuichi! Uh, did you find the body? Oh, where are you? Are you, you are inside the beach house? Kazuichi scream. Did I really hear it coming from here? No. What am I being nervous about? There's no... There's no reason for me to be nervous. About this discovery announcement? I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. Oh, God. No. Who could it be? I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house... Those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Oh, my hero! No, oh. oh, my hero. He's dead. If if this was all a dream, when did I when did I begin dreaming? If this is reality, why is Mahiro on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me, and I couldn't believe in anything.
Mahiro Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unwielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. <sighs> she was really good at taking care of people. She took good care of Kyoko. She was good friends with Hyoko. We'd made that... We'd made cookies and sweets together. With the girls. <sighs> it's hard to believe that she's... Dead now. Toward us and toward herself. She was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Why did this happen to her? Uh... Okay, first things first, we have to announce everybody. We have to make sure that there's not a second body too. We have to make sure that Nagito is alive too. Or if he's tied up as well. We have to find out where Fuhiko and the others are. Let's go! The muscles in my face stiff, stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble, and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it! Hey, 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 Hajime! Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We, we were having a lot of fun. But why? Why did something like this happen? <laughs> Someone tell me! I obviously don't know what's going on either. Oh. Uh, Ibuki! Um. <laughs> oh, Ibuki! <laughs> Now's not the time to make bubbles! Hurry and get the others! Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return. Around the time I realized that the others were already here. Alrighty then, let's see. Akane, okay. What the hell is this? <laughs> my, my hero. The girls are standing outside the door leading the leading to the beach. Their faces pale with, with terror. Something like this. For heaven's sake, what the world is going on? <sighs> Mahiro is dead. Miss Nevermind. <sighs> with their pale faces still intact, the girls begin wobbling toward the beach house until a voice stopped them. Hold it. Ah, uh, hold on a second. Hmm. Those things beneath you. Be careful not to step on them. What? But beneath? See? You know, the footprints in front of that door. There are footprints leading out the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. Oh. <laughs> well, good job, Butchaki. Yeah. There are some footprints over here. And it would seem that the footprints are leading outside the beach house. So don't step on them. Huh? If you mean evidence... Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. What the? Another class trial? Yep, another class trial, Ibuki. Ah. Are you serious? Then, are you saying this is... That's right! What if you guys killed her? Why? Oh, Getting killed? That, that's impossible! Hey, hey! Uh, it's not like... It's not like an accident or something. 
Like... If you guys think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words... Yeah, so count as... A legitimate murder. No such deaths fall into a grey area. On this island, I'll make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from a sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Monomi takes such good care of people. <sighs> What's this? Oh, speaking of which. I don't like this. Eh, there it is. The silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Oh fine. I'm not gonna lose to your b b bashing. I decided to be a com I decided to become a I decided to become a tough guy, kid. This is the worst. Once again, this is a horrible nightmare. Another victim. And it's all because of Monokuma. No way! Jeez, uh, it's not my fault. Huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? Yahoo! To find out, we hold the class trial. So... So, let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. <sighs> Thank you, Monokuma. Do your best. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. <laughs> class trial? Investigation? This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Hey! Maybe you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? Well, I doubt that she even has that kind of power. Dad, I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps... Even if she tried to stop it, judging from Monokuma and Monomi's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. Yeah, that's right. Yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but he can only hear about three times the end of a normal person. So basically, you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. Hmm. Hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Well, I think everybody knows already what we should do. We shall investigate the death of Mahiro. <laughs> again? That cruel thing. We have to do it again? Why? I cannot believe it. Mahiro was killed by one of us. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating. The class jump. Says we are done. Everyone feels the same. But we can't do anything else except do it. And... There's no way we can just ignore the reason Mahiro was killed. Hey. Yeah. The only thing we can do is investigate. Cause it's bad. Cause we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Killing is never an option. Well? The killer has their reasons. I understand that. It was the same for Terror Terror too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that too. But even so, Fine. I'll never allow it. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if you don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it. Then let's do this. Mahiro probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If I was doing it, I'll do it too. But, what? Please give me a little time. Please give me time to talk, to calm myself down a little. Okay, well, I can definitely do that. However, we are gonna need that autopsy, Mikan. 
also, I'll go and tell the others who aren't here about this. All right. If all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> all right, then. Hey. Then let's begin. Who killed Mahiro Koizumi? Why was she killed? <gasps> we gotta find out and solve this already. Yes. We shall definitely do this. In the name of Mahiro Koizumi. And in the name of the detective code, we shall solve this case. For there is no such thing as an impossible case to solve. That's right. We have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. No. You are not the only one who can do this. We are all in this together, Hajime. We can do this. Alrighty then. First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. Ah, Mahiro. Her birthday was on April 24th. The victim is Mahiro Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. Alright, 3 p.m. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. A killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries, and no trace of foreign substances, such as drugs. Around 3 p.m. That's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then, if we had just gone to the beach house instead... No. Now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. That is right. We cannot just think of the past, we have to think of the present and the future here. And then, I'm going to, to find out the truth behind Mahiu's death. Also... For her to die by getting hit in the head with a blunt object... It definitely reminds me of a particular someone that died the same way before. Hmm... That's the only way the rest of us can survive. Alrighty then. Monokuma Fall 2. Alrighty then. Well, I guess we shall see about uh, the metal battle here first. Let's see. According to the Monokuma Fall, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiro with a blunt object. The blunt object? It's this metal bat, right? Huh? This metal bat? Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh? Well? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. I see. So you have played Twilight Syndrome as well, Chiaki, is that right? Also... Yeah, I guess so. I did see the metal bat near, near girl E when she died. Um. That girl was killed with a blow from a bat from a metal bat, just like Mahiru. So that would mean that somebody that the one who killed Mahiru also played the game. Hmm. Did you did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about that metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it. But did you play it too? Well, yeah, of course she did play that. Because otherwise, I don't think she would have known without playing that game. Unless somebody else told her, but I don't think so. I think that she played the game too. Then I'm sure you know this, but... The case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Cinder murder case. I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahiu's death, we probably need to solve that game's mystery too. Hmm... But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because we haven't beaten the game. Haven't beaten the game? 
Well, I finished the game with a game over, but were you able to beat it? Hmm. Mm. And that's some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. <laughs> you go, girl! But... How did you beat it, though? Like, wait, you didn't get a game over? So that will mean you continued the game after that. Well, how? I mean, well, it was pretty straightforward. So, yeah. So, what am I supposed to do actually... What am I supposed to do to actually beat that game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. So, it's okay to say that this metal bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? Yeah, absolutely. Unless... Well, think about this, Hajime. I mean, yeah, we have blood all over here. And we have uh, the blood on the metal bat. But what makes you think that this metal bat was the thing that killed Mahiro? I mean, remember Hajime. Remember that there was somebody else be before this that also had blood. Just keep that in mind, Hajime. There could be the possibility that there is more to this than just the metal bat being the murder weapon and all that. Just saying. Um, the mask. Hmm. What's this? Is this a mask? Well, this is interesting. Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? <laughs> okay. Again, we're gonna go with something that has been brought from the supermarket? Okay. Did a killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. A gaudy mask? Ah! Uh, that mask? You... you've seen this? Sandwich Esperito! Eh? It is a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country! An anime that has a viewership of over 90%? Is, is Sonya's country really alright? <laughs> well, I don't know, I mean... I think that uh, Sonia's country is fictional, right? I don't think the Kingdom of Novozelic actually exists, right? I mean, it is a reference after all, it's not real. Maybe uh, Sonia's kingdom is near Japan? It cannot be. Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yep, it sure was. If that is true, could it be... Could it be what? I am sorry! Um, please give me some time. Uh, Miss Nevermind. Hmm. Okay. For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out to the beach house. What's with her? It appears... It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm. For Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. Yeah, she definitely knows something. She definitely knows something. Well, okay, I guess I'm not able to get out of uh, the beach house, yes? Right? There might still be things I haven't investigated yet. Yeah. I mean, let's see. Like, besides this room over here, we're also gonna have to check on, um, on Sonia, see what she has to say, because she was worked up about something. And we also have to make sure that Nagito is still tied up in the, the dining hall, or, or if something bad happened to Nagito and all that. And check on Nekomaru Gundam... Um, who else? Am I missing somebody over here? Akane... Fuihiko too. He was acting, he was acting all suspicious. We met him before going to the diner and all that. Or going be before the Chandler Beach and all that, so... Hmm, I don't know. Uh, okay, well, let's check uh, Mahiro's body over here.
She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. <sighs> to think that a strong person like her would die like this. It is pretty surprising. God, no, not this, no, 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 I don't want, God, damn it, <laughs> good num num numbing, oh, how nice it is that, <gasps> No! No! Mahiro! Good lord, no! Another murder? Why did, why did you come why did you come back? What, what do you want? Well gee, what do you think, Mr. Kalman Collected? I want to find out who killed Miss Koizumi as much as you want. I am just so excited to see whoever did this punished and let him or her feel the despair. Ah, this is exciting. Now, of course, first thing we're gonna have to do is check Mahiru's body thoroughly, just like the good old times. You never know. There might be more than just a blow to the head. To check her beautiful body under such circumstances in order to find the truth. Doesn't it feel... juicy? Ah, such beautiful dead. It makes your heart pump like crazy. Hey, Monokuma! Can I come here for a second? Huh? Yes? Can you offer me some judgment juice here? I'm a little thirsty. Of course! Here you go! Alright. Hey you! You want some of this juicy judgment juice? Uh. I know you like it! <laughs> here, catch it! Oh boy! Whew. Okay, that will distract him long enough. Let's continue. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if... She's a shell. Is this really... The energetic Mahiro I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high spirit in Mahiro. But we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slapped both my hands onto my cheeks and faced Mahiro's body one more time. Alrighty then. That's the spirit, Hajime. Let's do this. Mahiru is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstain on the floor. They are streaked, as if she crawled through them. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. Hmm. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. So what Hajime is trying to say is that Mahiro used all her energy to go... to crawl herself all the way to the door. But I'm thinking about a different uh, possibility over here, that maybe... Hmm, that maybe Mahiru's body was moved by the killer in order to block the door, so that nobody would enter through the door back on the back of the beach house. So that they would have to come all the way 
through the front door of the beach house. But if that's so, the, the question would be, why? I mean, we have two entrances. If the killer moved the, bo moved the body in order to block the back door of the beach house, it's not like uh, that would mean that nobody would be able to come inside the beach house, since we also had the front door of the beach house. So, was this just so that the murderer would stop anybody to come inside? I don't think so. Maybe there is more to that, but it is a possibility, I don't know yet. Maybe she crawled all the way to the door, maybe she was moved in order to block the door. I guess we shall see. Um, Ibuki? Mahiro, 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 Mahiro! This is too weird. Something this weird should only happen in song lyrics. <laughs> Definitely. But I guess we can only talk to her that much. Hmm. Okay. Kazuichi? Hmm. Hmm, that's weird. What do you mean? Uh. Oh, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a large variety of drinks. Man. Well... I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, so just drop it. No, 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 just, just tell me, what the fuck are you talking about? What the heck? You started it. Wait, what? Um, refrigerator? There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to the last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Do people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or colored. They look unhealthy. Mm hmm. In that case. Wait a second. What is this? Oh! What is this, ladies and gents? It is a clue! Maybe there's a clue inside this trash can. That's what I thought, but. Hmm. There's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess. It's not that easy, huh? Hmm. There were a bunch of empty plastic bottles inside the trash can in the beach house. They were probably drinks from the refrigerator. Yeah, they must be. It would seem that somebody used quite a lot of drinks and emptied them and threw them in the trash can. Kazuichi did say that there were a lot more drinks before, but now it's a lot less. Hmm... I do have to wonder about that. Miss Pickle? I, see. I will never forgive killing. Hmm... However, Chiaki seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. Yep. Well, I do feel pretty strong about... I do feel very strongly about killing too. It's not just her. That... It's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess... You're right. Okay then. Chiaki? How suspicious. What is this? This is... Suspicious. I think. Did you find some kind of clue? See? See? You know the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Well... How do you mean Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house? But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Mm-hmm. So it could be the killer that we are talking about over here. Hey. No, I didn't mention it. I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road. It didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beach house door. Hmm. Well, the thing is, I actually forgot that uh, the beach house has two doors. I only uh, remember, like, uh, the entrance door, hence... Well, actually, like, the first time I heard the body announcement and heard uh, Kazuichi scream, I thought that... The, I, for a second, I thought that he was outside, but Kazuichi was not outside, so... I checked uh, the beach house from... Like, uh, from, um, 
the uh, the entrance from the front entrance and all that. I forgot that there was like a like a extra door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mafia's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's when I noticed the footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they were they belonged to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Huh? It does remind me of a particular somebody that ran from the beach house, from the tunnel. Running right when we were in the diner. Hmm. Well, not gonna mention it. Pico said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be? Well. Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe. Is that really true? But still. But his footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints will lead from the shore to the tunnel. Would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Okay. Then whose footprints are these? It appears. It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yep, it's probably an extremely important clue. Alrighty then, well, I um, I don't really have any theory about that one yet. Let's see. Uh, well, we have this, the shower room. So, this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. That's right! The show is being repaired, so water won't come out. But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too. If the show is out of water, then isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry. Just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me. So I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? You're so evil! You're so evil! Anyway, it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. Hell, oh. <laughs> your dumb eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice. Well, I cannot deny that, that possibility, Usami, but you must have read my mind. <laughs> think what you want of me. I'm already given up. Well, let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together. You will be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I'll help with that. Well, what help? You're doing the opposite. Oh well, anyway, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. But I guess I should check the inside too. So I guess we're so... So I guess we can go inside? Let's see. I guess I might as well check the inside of the shower room too. Okay, well, this is actually the first time we we can go inside. This is a really nice, really spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it as a dressing room. But changing in the beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. Yeah, that is an unreasonable rule. Like, why? Why? I don't know. Oh, given the fact that this is uh, a new place. Let's see if we can... No, I don't see any Monokuma plushie. Hmm. A toilet! There's a toilet. You can't really use it as a step stool. What do you mean as a step stool? Damn it. Hmm, guess no one's in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. Hmm. Okay, well, what else we have here? Ah! There is a window over here. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to make take my mind off of it. Hmm. It may end up being an important clue there, Hajime. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can reach it. It's probably about 9 feet up. It's not just that, 
It's an iron barred window. If that's the case, yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out of out through there. What? Hmm. That may be true. But it's not impossible for someone to come from outside all the way inside by using this. However, hmm. what? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Leave it to me. All right, I got it. I'll pitch you in and help you out. Eh? Now then. Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Pitch in and help? It looks like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. I'll pick you up. I'll, I'll pitch you up. If you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. <laughs> Okay, she's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> no way, my panties are clean. <laughs> uh, 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 thank you for telling us that, Akane. I, that's good. I let out a deep sigh. <sighs> then bent over and under the window. All right. As she shouted, I kind of jumped onto my shoulders. All right, well. How'd you mean? Just make sure not to wake your demon. The demon inside of you. While we are doing this. Ugh. Hey! Your balance sucks! Make sure your stance is wider! Y you. You're a lot heavier than I expected. Yeah, because I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, you tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. Ah, <laughs> okay. So, how's the window? Let's see. That's what happened. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. Hmm. Wait, what are you saying? Check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. Wait, I can't on my shoulders. I can't. I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. Ah. It would seem that it can be opened. Ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. I see. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Wait, so that window is on the roof? Yep, yep. Yeah, I guess so. It is on the roof. I kind of jumped off my shoulders and flashed a white grin. <laughs> is this a big discovery? But the problem is, how were they able to reach that window? Mm. Mm, even if I jump, I can't really reach it. Wait, so not even... Oh, okay, so... Yeah, it is impossible to jump all the way over there. Even for Akane. <laughs> but if two people work together like us, it won't be a problem, right? Ah. Good thinking there, Akane! Look at you, so happy with that smile. If that's the case, it wouldn't mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? <laughs> oh, okay, well, you don't have to worry about that, Akane. Just, good job. Like, uh, thank you for helping us, and you gave me an idea. But even, it, but even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the steps to would still be inside. Like... Mm -hmm, that is true. But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Wait, what? Just one person could get out of here without help, right? So... Yeah, like... I got it. A freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls, no problem, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that is... Uh, that is... Uh, a possibility, yeah. Yeah, mmm. Mmm. Just as I thought. It looks like. It looks difficult to go in and out through that window. Hi. Oh, what the heck? And even I took the time to lend you my wisdom. Piss me off. 
<laughs> well, okay, you did lend me some wisdom. It just kind of depends on what type of wisdom you're offering me. Like, the goofy wisdom or the good wisdom? You're the one who said he was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. You. It was such a waste of time to help you out. Why well, you saw where my panties? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh well, it's not like it's the end of the world. I tell you, I didn't look at them. <laughs> oh, don't deny it, Hajime. You did look at them, you, you wild animal. The Iron Bear Wind. I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in this shower room. Okay, well. I guess so. So, let's... Uh, well, actually, hold on. Let me just see. Um, no, I guess that's everything. Huh. I took the time to lend you my wisdom. But in the end, all you saw was my panties. Like I said, I didn't look at them. Seriously, please don't tell the others about that. They don't misunderstand me. <laughs> I don't know about the word misunderstand. But, okay. I'm not... <laughs> I don't uh, seriously consider Hajime a perv. I don't know, that uh, that scene with the Makirue and the Hyoko from before did feel a little bit off. I don't know if uh, Hajime is actually a full perv and all that, I don't think so. I would like to think that Hajime is a, is a nice guy and all. <laughs> but hey, doesn't mean that I cannot make fun of Hajime, you know. Like how I made fun of uh, Makoto for being the ultimate hobo and all that, for collecting coins left and right. But uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess we're gonna end the episode right over here, gonna take a little bit of a break. Take some time to think about this a little bit, and then after that continue our investigation and all that, so... Uh, hmm.